finally, example three, find angle A given triangle ABC with that. And it says find A. Does yours say solve? Yes. I think I, I changed that before because I didn't like this question. Solve triangle ABC. Yeah. I like to find everything. All right, so we want to solve triangle ABC. We want to find every single set of solutions possible. And again, if we draw the picture here, so if I draw my right from my triangle, and again, I'm not looking for artwork here. Give me triangle ABC. I usually draw it looking like that almost every time. B is 32 degrees. Uh, side A, which would be opposite angle A, is over here, 42. Side B, opposite angle B, is 30. So once again, looking at, this, at the structure of the triangle given information, we have a side, a side, and an angle not in between the sides. This is a side-side angle situation. Again, that's priority one, to establish not only what the triangle looks like, but what type of triangle setup it is. It's the side-side angle scenario, which means that I've got angle A opposite side A, and angle B opposite side B are going to help me find out what angle A equals. All right? So the three pieces of information I'm given, I can immediately go on to find out what angle A is. So I create my law of sine proportion here. I'm going to get 42 over sine of A is equal to 30 over the sine of 32. Again, that's always the first step. When you get a side-side angle, your first step, immediately go to law of sines and try and find that other angle. If it's possible, you're going to be able to continue on. If not, you put the empty set and you're done. Okay, once again, just like before, I'm going to find out what the sine of 32 is here. Go four decimal places, so 0.5299. Quick little cross multiply, I'm going to get 30 sine of A is equal to 42 times 0.5299. That comes out to 22.2558. So if I do that divided by 30, we get sine of A is equal to 0.74186. Four decimal places, 0 0.7419. Again, always rounding my work four decimal places. That makes my two decimal place approximation pretty accurate. So if I do inverse sine of 0 0.7419, I get A equaling 47.89 degrees. All right. Now, this is what happens more often in these side side angle ones. A is equal to some answer. It's not an empty set. We actually get an answer. And again, this is going to be sine equals some positive number because everything in these triangles is always positive. So this will always be positive. When you do inverse sine, you always get something between 0 and 90. You always get an acute answer. Right? So what I do at this point is I make a set 1 and a set 2. A equals A equals. Both sets of answers are just as good as each other if they're possible. And we'll find out soon enough if they're possible. If they are, fine. If not, we just throw it out. All right? So set one, I'm going to put 47.89. In the world of solving for sine, if inverse sine equals some angle measure, some acute measure, then 180 minus that, the supplement of that angle is also a true answer. All right? So if I do 180 minus 47.89, That's how I find the other A, which is 132.11. Okay. If you can make both of these answers, everything else is pretty straightforward from here for most people. The most people who mess up don't understand how to get this answer off of that answer. It's real simple. They add up to 180. If you try it out, this plus this will equal 180. I found this by doing 180 minus that. Whatever answer you get, when you do this in the law of sines, whatever answer you get there, subtract 180 minus that answer, you get the other answer. Okay. Then we're supposed to find angle C for both. All right, look at angle C. It's the third angle, right? Mm -hmm. All right. At this point, if I know A is 47.89 and B is 32, to get C, I've got to do 180 minus these two angle measures, right? That's all I'm doing to find angle C. At this point, once I know A is this, and I already know B is this, 
180 minus these two answers gets me the value of C. So if I do 180 minus 47.89 minus, was it 32? 32. 32. That comes out to 100.11 degrees. If I do the same thing here, I know B is 32 degrees and A could be 132.11 degrees, not drawn to scale, but if A is that, and B is that, and I want to find out C. C would equal 180 minus this minus that. So 180 minus 132.11 minus 32. That comes out to 15.89 degrees. The one scenario I did not deal with in this um, set of homework or examples is the one where, let's say this is 160. That's 32, now it's 192, subtract, you get negative 12, throw it out. So if, this comes, if C comes out to a negative angle, big ol' X there and just finish up your set one answers. But if C comes out to two numbers that are positive, both answer sets are valid, and both answer sets are necessary. So little c equals little c equals. To find little c, we just use the law of sines again. Okay. If I know this is 47.89 here, and I know this is 100.11, and I'm trying to find C, there's a whole bunch of information in there. Um, any side over our side of this opposite angle, I'm going to use 30 and 32 because those are exactly right. Where 47.89 and 42 are approximate. Or actually, that's approximate, that's exact. But anywhere, anytime I can use exact, it's always better. So 30 over sine of 32 is equal to C we don't know yet over sine of 100.11. Once again, sine of 32 equals something, sine of 100.11 equals something. Uh, 0.5299 and 0.9844, or 0.9845. That's just a simple proportion, right? 0.5299C is equal to 0.9845 times 30. 29.535. So divide both sides by 0.5299. So 29.535 divided by 0.5299. That comes out to 55.74. So there's a set of answers that's correct. Over here, do the same thing. Once again, B and sine of B are the same thing. So 30 over sine of 32. I can write sine of 32. I've already figured out it's 0.5299. I'm welcome to write that down immediately. Is equal to C, we don't know yet, over the sine of 15.89 degrees. Once again, my calculator knows that. Sine of 15.89 comes out to 0.2738. So 0.5299 times C. That product is equal to this product. 30 times 0.2738. Which is 8.214. Divide both sides by 0.5299, and that comes out to 15.50. So when step one works, that's what your answers are going to look like. Two sets of answers, ACC for one, ACC for the other. Again, the only stipulation that could be weird about it is sometimes step set two doesn't exist because C ends up being a negative angle. Throw it out at that point. It will happen in your homework at least once, maybe twice. So watch out for that one scenario. That has not been handled specifically in an example problem today.